Turning now to a major conference happening in Chicago today. From elections to COVID to the war in Ukraine, misinformation is everywhere. It's like information pollution at this point. It's part of the atmosphere, choking all of us. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I suppose that's right. I think anything from that would be deviating from the norm. Now, misinformation may or may not even be deliberate. It can spread without trying to mislead anyone. If I give you wrong directions to an address, that's misinformation. It's not on purpose. I'm not trying to hurt you. I guarantee it. Would I lie? Hey, welcome back, everybody. So according to a new report from the president of New Cycle Media, John Nicosia, a recent informal discovery board meeting with the largest shareholder, his name is John Malone, referred to CNN's Brian Stelter as, quote, a cancer and a Zucker henchman that has a failing show. Well, no shit. The guy is one of the most discredited people in media. This much deserved news comes as Helter Stelter desperately tries and put a positive spin on his part in covering up a legitimate story about Joe Biden corrupt son just before an election by masquerading as an authority on disinformation. I guess you could say that as a guy who helped spread Russian disinformation throughout the country in the form of the Steele dossier and actually claim that Trump was a Russian agent installed by Putin, that Brian Stelter is in a sense an authority on disinformation, just a distributor of it. We're gonna get right into this clip, but right after I tell you about this free offer from Noble Gold. For years now, people have been setting up a little contest between between crypto and gold. Both carry stuff and they travel from A to B, but they do different jobs. Gold's job is to keep the value of your money safe and preserve its value. And since Ukraine and the oil and inflation crisis, it's done a brilliant job compared to stocks and other investments. So if you're worried about what's going on right now and who isn't, just talk to an expert at Noble Gold about precious metals IRAs for your retirement. They'll put you straight on your options and hold your hand through the whole setup process. And this month, for any qualified IRA, you'll get an incredible three ounce silver American virtue coin completely free as a thank you. Call 877-646-5347 now to find out more or visit noblegoldinvestments.com. That's noblegoldinvestments.com. You can also check out the link in the description or pinned comment. Make sure to tell them Drone Tech sent you. But disinformation is something different. Disinformation is worse. It's malicious, it's wrong on purpose. It's intended to circumvent the truth. We're seeing this from bad faith actors, including autocracies around the world. And democracies are under assault as a result. <laughs> that, that one almost sent me over the edge. This is the same guy that said this. Secret email. The Post claimed that the emails were found on a laptop computer that was brought to a repair shop in Delaware in the spring of 2019. For all we know, these emails are made up. Russian disinformation. This is a classic example of the right-wing media machine. The same guy that said that, the very same guy, just said this. Now, misinformation may or may not even be deliberate. It can spread without trying to mislead anyone. If I give you wrong directions to an address, that's misinformation. It's not on purpose. I'm not trying to hurt you. Oh, come on. I mean, this guy is obviously just trying to rationalize the fact that he's a dishonest, disinformation disseminating scumbag for the Democrat Party. The guy is trying to manipulate his part, one of many that tried to manipulate an election in favor of Joe Biden, down to this. It's not on purpose. I'm not trying to hurt you. It's harmless. Don't blame him. He's not trying to hurt you. It's intended to circumvent the truth. We're seeing this from bad faith actors, including autocracies around the world. I mean, you literally just described yourself. God. No, it's okay. It's okay. The guy is going to lose his job soon and end up flipping dildos at walls for stories on Vice News. Given how completely, utterly lacking in self-awareness this has all been and just filled with lies, I'm dying to see what this so-called disinformation conference is all about. Which I'm now expecting to literally be a conference that pushes disinformation. Let's take a... So amazing. Thank you. Thank you for doing this. Really appreciate it. I'm Daniel Schmidt. I'm a freshman at the University of Chicago. 
My question is for Ms. Applebaum. Um, so in 2020, you wrote, those who live outside the Fox News bubble do not, of course, need to learn any of the stuff about Hunter Biden, referring to his laptop, of course. Uh, a poll later after that found that if voters knew about the content of the laptop, 16% of Joe Biden voters would have acted differently. Now, of course, we know a few weeks ago, the New York Times confirmed that the content is real. Do you think the media acted inappropriately when they instantly dismissed uh, Hunter Biden's laptop as Russian disinformation? And what can we learn from that in ensuring that what we label as disinformation is truly disinformation and not reality? I mean, my, my problem with Hunter Biden's laptop is I think it's totally irrelevant. I mean, it's not whether it's disinformation or, I mean, I don't think the Hunter Biden's um, business relationships have anything to do with who should be president of the United States. So I, I, didn't fi I don't find it to be interesting. I mean, that, that would be my problem with the, that as a, as a major news story. You look like a snake! A Democrat state media propagandist doesn't care if it was disinformation or not, even though that's exactly what they claimed as justification for censorship of the story. But none of that's a problem anyway, because she just isn't interested in the story. She, a Democrat, thinks it's irrelevant. Irrelevant to who the president is. Despite the president being the father of the guy who has shady business dealings with China, Russia, Russia and Ukraine. There you have it, folks. They think that censorship is a completely legitimate tool as long as they, the gatekeepers, the Democrat Party, deem the story irrelevant. Well, that's about enough soul damaging gaslighting that I can take for the day. If you did enjoy it or found it informative, please hit that like button, share, and let us all know what you think in the comments. Thank you.